show uh, one, one of these uh, examples. This is another one you did. Uh, you raced one of the buses right here in New York City, MTA buses across 42nd Street. <laughs> on a, not, not by foot, on a big wheel tricycle. It was a child's big wheel, my feet, feet were in pain. Um, yeah, yeah. it was just so frustrating. Anyone who lives in NYC, you take the bus and you think to yourself, this is wrong, this is wrong, you could probably out walk it, and then I would see like little kids on the sidewalk with their parents, and like, big wheel, try to big wheel, could beat a New York City bus! Yeah, well, it turns out, uh, it did. <laughs> let's, uh, I just kind of it, but let's take a look at the video here. Right. Uh, uh, I want to point out there's a 20% chance, because I did research, that the bus would have beat me. I refer to some other week I would ride that, that bus in 42nd Street and do the times. So it's just adrenaline, because my feet were in so much pain that I'm like, I have to beat the sticky bus. So right. I just went in Superman mode and just, yeah. So I went by two minutes. Yeah, so you so you, so you, you, uh, you. you signed, you got signed up with My Damn Channel. How did that come about? They, they, they came calling? Um, there, I love My Damn Channel. I was aware of them, and it was a friend of a friend that was working for Rob Barnett, and she set up a time, I think we talked when she put Rob and I together. Rob and I, like, I mean, we just talk comedy. Like, we're good yeah. friends, but we just talk comedy, just like, like, I don't know, we just connected. It was a solid year where we just would talk back and forth. I was doing stuff he was. And then after a year, I was like, let's do this! And um, it's just been so much fun. I get to bring goats into the Apple Store, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the Apple Store? They didn't know about that, by the way. I wanted to prove that you can do anything in an Apple Store, and you can, in fact, bring a goat into the Apple Store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try it. <laughs> you did it. And all your videos, they just go viral. It's amazing. It's like, yeah, a lot of them do. I've been really given fortune that the press covers it. I guess the Fox News are all over them. They love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they've been lucky to get um, to get the press and stuff. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, they got to fill their time, Mark. They do. <laughs> I, and I'm the first thing to go, by the way. They always tell me that. I was booked on the CBS, uh, CBS this morning for, for this video project that they've had celebrity sleepovers. And they kept bumping me every week. And they're like, you're not mad. I'm like, my stuff isn't news. I'm not, how can I be mad? I'm like, something real happens. I get bumped. I get the deal. People need to know that you watch 252 Netflix movies in a single month. That's front page news. <laughs> I wanted to, to uh, make a comment that if you have Netflix streaming, I wanted to see how much, how, how much I can take advantage of my street, of my of, uh, free Netflix, or, or, or what is it, like $10? Yeah. So it worked yeah. out to, um, three, 252 movies worked out to three cents a movie. Yeah. You watched 252 was 404.25 hours of Jeez. Netflix in a month. And yes. Is there anything good on Netflix? There's nothing good on it. There was some good stuff. There what was. was the best movie you saw? I don't remember. <laughs> but there was some good stuff. And then Netflix found out about it. And they invited me to go out there because I did it independently. And I got to meet Reed Hastings, who's the CEO. And they made it Mark Malhoff Day, which was nice. And we had a screening of the video. But I honestly don't remember a lot of it. I um, uh, I was so out of it. It was like like Clockwork Orange where they pulled back Malcolm McDowell's eyes a little bit. And then Christina and I, my wife, um, were watching some Hitchcock film. And she was like, have you seen this? I'm like, no. 10 minutes or 15 minutes later, I had to Google myself and the movie to see if I watched it on Netflix. And sure enough, I did watch it. I wasn't sure. So the total is nice the time. You did it pretty much. Yeah. yeah. I, liked, I watched Troll 2. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the funniest thing is, the people That's on Netflix? It is, and the people on Troll 2, they Google themselves and they, they, they search Twitter just for Troll 2 so they can comment back at you. So Drew from Troll 2, if you say you're watching Troll 2 and you make it up, you're going to hear from him. Wow. <laughs> you don't want to get to his bad side. No. <laughs> He's got a lot of power in Hollywood these days. He does. <laughs> yes. Well, Mark, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. All your stuff, where can you find it? MyDamnChannel.com? Yeah, MyDamnChannel.com. Slash Mark Malpo. Mark Malpo. Yeah, Mark Malpo. Slash. Yeah. Mark, I'm excited to see what you got cooked up well, next. Thank you. Yeah, I'm doing a web series for MSN. My, it's, uh, my name channel is producing it, and um, it's on MSN. It's called the Mark Malkoff Challenge, and um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. We just debuted it. Ooh, stay tuned, folks. Stay tuned for Mark Malkoff. It's a crazy video. <laughs>